Hey, what's up guys? I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new Halo 5 Forge creation review here on the channel. So today I have three creations to take a look at here today and I know I haven't done one of these in a while but it's because Halo Infinite's just come out and I've been making videos about the campaign and the multiplayer and I know these videos don't get as much views but I still do like to make them. I still do like to make the Halo 5 Forge creation reviews and I've actually been wanting to make one for a while now, and right now I feel like I've got some time to make one, so I thought, why not make one? So if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more if you haven't already, and yeah, let's get right into this. So here we have three cool creations I'm going to be taking a look at today. Now, I do know these creators' names, however, I'll have their names on the screen as I do show off their creations. Now, first up, let's take a look at this. So this here is the Covenant Shark. Now, as you can see, it's basically a banshee. It's got a banshee on the inside of it, so you can drive it. And it's got the body of a shark. So it does look really, really cool. I actually do like the look of this. And it will be awesome if uh, there was actually something like this, like a banished-like weapon. I mean, not uh, sorry, not a banished-like vehicle, like a covenant or, or even a banished-like vehicle like this. However, the thing that I've noticed with, like, uh, Covenant vehicles, right, is they're usually all named after spirits and stuff like that. So, say, for example, Phantoms, Banshees, uh, you know, Spirits, Spirit Dropships, stuff like that. They're all named, you know, and Ghosts, you know, they're all named after certain types of spirits. So, uh, a Covenant Shark wouldn't really work well, but, you know, there could be, like, a UNSC Shark since uh, a lot of the UNSC vehicles are named after, like, land animals and stuff like that here on Earth, so yeah. But anyways, uh, here we have it. Now, we're gonna fly it. So, uh, I'm gonna set it out of phase. Now, I put it in phased before because, uh, in normal it was, like, jerking around and stuff like that in normal physics, as you can sort of see here right now. But yeah, so let's fly it. And it should be fine as we fly it. And, wow, it's actually really smooth as well. You know, I expected it to be sort of, like, janky and stuff like that, and for it to fly a lot more, like, uh, you know, just a lot more crazily, you know what I mean? But, you know, this is actually really well done, because I guess it's well balanced, and uh, just everything seems quite symmetrical in a way, so... Yeah, it, it is really, really fun to control, and it's actually really, really good to drive. Like, honestly, this is... Probably one of the best creations, like, in terms of, uh, just maneuverability, like, it really feels like you're actually, like, driving, like, a shark or something, it's really, really cool. So, yeah, uh, good on the, the creator for making this, I think it was X, Sniper Fox X who made this, so, uh, good on them, and yeah, so now let's take a look at this next creation. So this here is the Covenant Siren, now, this looks very, very unique, and I thought I'd take a look at it because of how unique it does look. I really like the, uh, just the whole shape of it in general, the whole design of it, you know, it actually looks like something that you would see, like, out of a Covenant vehicle, and the name of it as well, the Covenant Siren, you know, because a siren is a type of spirit, I'm pretty sure, so it does match up with, like, the naming scheme of Covenant, uh, vehicles as well, so, uh, yeah, like, the person's done a really good job of this, uh, good design in general. I don't think it's drivable, I mean, we could add, like, a, a banshee in it to make it drivable, but yeah. Like, the creator's done a very good job, though, That that's the thing. I really like how you got, like, the, uh, the side weapons here as well, I'm pretty sure they're meant to be. And you got, like, the turrets here. Yeah, like, honestly, uh, good on the creator for making this, really, really good creation. And, uh, good name for it as well, the Covenant Siren. Like I said, that, like, fits in with the Covenant, uh, vehicle naming scheme well. And, uh, yeah. Also, actually, whilst I'm at it, uh, how about I do actually make it drivable just because why not? You know, I'm actually interested to drive this thing around, so what we'll do is we'll actually, uh, make it drivable. Now, we'll use an invisible banshee. Even though in forge mode it's gonna be, uh, visible anyway. Alright, so now we're gonna create a welded group out of it, and then boom. So, there we go. Now we can drive this thing, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so let's hop in. And boom, we are now driving it, although it doesn't want to move. And I did set it out of all... Now I'm under the map. And I died. But yeah, so um, I did uh, set it to normal physics, so uh, maybe it just doesn't want to drive unless... Uh, oh, maybe unless it's not the parent. Yeah, it's not the parent, that's why. 
Always make sure you uh, look out for that sort of stuff, by the way, if you're making vehicles drivable. Always do look if they're, like, um, you know, done or not. And uh, also the uh, the camera distance as well, that's something else I forgot. We'll set it to like 4. And it should work. There we go, boom. And yeah, we're driving it. Now as you can see, it's uh, not driving the, uh, the best for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. But yeah, I mean, it that sucks. You guys could probably get it working. I mean, I don't know why it's not working for me. It should have worked, but yeah. Anyways, um, how about now we take a look at our final creation, which is the Ultra Grunt Goblin. The Ultra Grunt Goblin. Now this thing is pretty huge, I didn't actually expect it to be this big. I just expected it to be as big as a normal Grunt Goblin from Halo 5, but just like, you know, more like, uh, heavy, I guess you could say. But yeah, this thing is huge, and uh, it would be cool if there was like a grunt goblin like this in maybe Halo Infinite DLC or something, if they were to bring back grunt goblins as like a boss or something. That would actually be uh, pretty cool. Yeah, the creator's done a good job on this, a lot of details went into it. Don't know how many objects exactly, but uh, I assume a bit. Also, you got like the big needler cannon here, which is nice as well. And yeah, so good on the creator for making this. So anyways guys, those there are the free creations, uh, as you can see. Those there are the free creations that I've taken a look at today. If you did enjoy this Halo 5 Forge creation review and you do want more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Or if you want more, like, just Halo videos in general, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.